Hey beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I am super happy to have you here to discuss a book classic that I read this month in the month of January. And there wasn't really any particular reason beyond the fact that I was just drawn to it and just really felt in the mood to read kind of a Victorian style classic novel. Sometimes, you know, it's nice to try to do that for October, which is also Victober to a lot of people on booktube, but now I can do this review and recommend it that if you're trying to schedule or pick a book for Victober and you have not read George Eliot's Middlemarch, I strongly support and recommend that you pick this one. <laughs> I couldn't remember when I bought the book at my local Barnes and Noble found the penguin cloth bound which a lot of times bookstores do not carry the penguin cloth bound but I was new to the area enjoying a nice day at the bookstore and found this copy of a book that I wanted to read in the books that I collect and so it was destined to become mine and I couldn't remember much about George Eliot and I was getting it even confused with T.S. Eliot and T.S. Eliot, I had to go research it, right? Because this is what we do. Books inspire us to learn and it's okay that we don't know everything. That's the joy of reading. T.S. Eliot is the male poet or famous for poetry and he's referenced a lot in other works of literature, right? George Eliot, I had read her before. I knew one was the girl, but I couldn't remember which one. So in those times, as many of you know, the women would take up pen names so that they would be taken more seriously. So George Eliot is actually Mary Evans, who I don't think was ever published under her actual name. It just continues to be called the works of George Eliot, which I would really like to know, like if she not that she's still alive, but if you could ask her if that would please her or if she would rather it had gone back to her real name. So I don't know. Middle March is a great Victorian work about life in that time and it predominantly centers around to what I kind of think is maybe a third pretty good plot about characters who are, it's still kind of that love romance that you expect in it, but I found it to be really engaging and different and unique in the sense that a lot of the women were much more proactive and strong. They didn't just, for no apparent reason, fall in love with just whoever you would expect them to, or if there was going to be a marriage that was gonna be in arranged or at least encouraged, they would kind of push back against it and make arguments or petition for things that they really wanted. So that was really lovely. And there were characters in here who particularly would fight for goodness and trying to help people but were struggling financially. And then there was a little scandalous kind of roguish playboy character who would get in trouble with horses and gambling debts and financial and the strain. And it read like a lot like Downton Abbey. If you watched that show, it was a lot of highbrow, but we're having these issues and this drama and back and forth of those kind of things. And I laughed out loud. I chuckled to myself two or three times and I don't, it didn't make me cry, but I just really appreciated that it wasn't always the expected happy fairy tale ending that you sometimes get. So the main character girl woman is coming of age. She's going to be married off, but she strongly kind of manipulates it to be her own choice, but then that has consequences and goes down this path where she's trying to um, balance that tightrope between social society and upbringing and where her heart really lays. And then you have a doctor who thinks that he is choosing wisely but really getting himself not as supported as he was hoping as he's trying to navigate some of the trickiness about his own 
practices as well as getting caught up in another family scandal that he didn't really mean to be, but kind of got sucked in because of some of his financial need. So it is just really a fun, it is a little intimidating that it's around 800 and some pages, but it's eight separate publications that were done. So you, and they're right at 100 pages each. You can tell they were like published to be standalone in a particular way in a particular time. So if it's overwhelming, you can just break it up into that, right? You could even just do one a week or even one a month if you wanted to and, you know, space it out with other things that you're reading. Although there were many times when it would end and I wanted to know what was going to happen and what was going to be the next thing. And I liked all the different storylines. So when it would switch back and forth between them, once I made, you know, the switch, oh, we're switching, then I was right into that story as well. So highly recommend middle march five star read for me i am pretty sure that this would be in my top 10 classics of all times that i have read up to this point it's definitely this 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 might be controversial but i'm gonna put it out there i actually appreciate this and like this more than pride and prejudice which had stood in that you know favorite kind of victorian writing up until this time and now it's this one so that is my review of Middlemarch hope that it encourages you to think about it pick it up maybe put it into that October time slot and if you've read it or want to push back a little on anything or leave a comment that I missed because it has a lot going on but no spoilers unless you're gonna do a spoiler disclaim and um, let me know if you are interested in reading it now or what else. I'm particularly interested if you've read any more George Eliot. She has written seven novels. I have read uh, Silas Marner and love it. I have not read any of the other five. So if you have any of the other five recommendations, please leave that below. I appreciate you stopping by. Like and subscribe if you like bookish related things. I have more coming up soon. Take care, y'all.